We need a competitive European transport system which delivers transport for people. That means less congestion, fewer emissions, more employment and more growth, more revenues, more reliability and quality services, more security and safety, and critically, a European transport system that is, le is less dependent on oil. The key numbers are 0, 40, 50 and 60. That means no more conventionally fueled cars in our city centres by the middle of the century, a 40% cut in shipping emissions, 40% use of low carbon fuels in aviation and a 50% shift in middle distance journeys by both passengers and freight from road to rail and other modes. All of that will <coughs> contribute to a 60% overall cut in carbon emissions, reduce Europe's dependence on oil and provide <coughs> a major opportunity for Europe's transport manufacturers to compete on, on world markets. Transport is increasing. So increasing transport at the same time reducing CO2 uh, emissions, it's, it's a very radical and, and very, uh, very, <coughs> very ambitious target. We are going towards self-sustainable in economic terms transport. So more involvement of private sector, right pricing, right uh, revenue, revenue flows. So it's a huge, huge question and, uh, and uh, transport, if we create and develop transport, must, must um, self-finance in, in future. And it will be, but it will be a huge, huge, of course, uh, challenge for us here in European Commission as well to facilitate uh, harmonization of this uh, financial environment which, which differs largely for all modes of transport. <laughs>